Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Kevin. How are you? Oh, so far, so good. Sorry, I good can't be on this on the class. Yesterday, I was abroad and I forget to enable the roaming, <laughs> so <laughs> I can have um, access to the, to the internet. <laughs> All right, it's okay, but now you're here. So welcome to the class. I'm happy to see you here. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. I can see Rafael too. Hello, Rafael, how are you? Hi, teacher, thank you. How was your day? Uh, <laughs> they be busy, but it's okay. Mm, okay, that's good. That's good. So welcome to the class. Let's see everyone who else is there. I can see only two people with the camera on and the other ones. I want to see you guys. Welcome. Welcome to the class. Very good. I can see Sifrido already. Hello, Sifrido. How are you? Not too sure. Not good. <laughs> well, it's a busy day, but... I'm pretty fine at the moment. Yeah, I imagine that. Um, it's been a long week. <laughs> and it's only Tuesday. Well, for yeah. me, it's only Tuesday. <laughs> I know. Okay. But let's look at the bright side. It's already, guys. The day is almost over. Okay. And today we are going to have a lot of practice. I hope that you are ready to talk, to ready to speak, because we are going to have a lot of practice as always, okay? Uh, remember everybody, if one day you cannot be in the class, try to always review the topics that we started so the next day you can be ready to participate too. If you know, uh, there is a link of YouTube, all right? I already shared it in the group. And if you cannot find it, let me know and I can present it again. Now, do you remember what was the topic that we studied yesterday? Uh-huh. Do you remember the topic or not? And um, record speech with WH question. All right, yes. Remember guys, yesterday we continued practicing the reported speech. Very good. We studied just no questions, but also the double H questions. Very good, very good. So we are going to continue practicing that topic, but we are going to talk about something else too. And we are going to check uh, some vocabulary, all right? So welcome again, everybody. Just remember, cameras on, please. And don't forget to write your full names on your profiles. And oh, I can see Elias. Hello, Elias. How are you? Hi, I'm, I'm fine. How, how about you guys? We are great. Thanks for asking and welcome. It's nice to see you. All right. Well, everybody, welcome again. Thank you so much for being on time. And well, right now we are going to start. I'm going to share the presentation. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes, I can. Yes? Yes, teacher. Excellent, very good. Okay, everybody, so today is August 22nd. So this is the topic that we are going to study today. Identify issues to hidden charges when online shopping, okay? So this is the class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the class objective. <laughs> Me. <laughs> yes, go ahead. Uh, at the end of the class, participants will learn how to identify issues when shopping online and use reported speech with information questions. Thank you. So we are going to divide the topics for today into parts. The first part, we are going to talk about issues when shopping. And in the second part, we are going to practice reported speech with information questions. But remember, we are going to practice different grammar tenses, okay? Not only in simple present, but also in simple past and in future. 
So let's start with a quick review about yesterday. If you remember yesterday, we reviewed, um, reported the speech in future. So everyone, can you tell me a yes, no question in future, please? Uh-huh, yes, no question, future. Oh my God, nobody? Would you All go right. to work tomorrow? Will you go to work tomorrow? Very good. So when we are talking in future, we are going to use the auxiliary will. Will you go to work tomorrow? So everybody, what did he ask? How can we use the reported speech with future? What do you think? Do you remember? He asked, what do I need next? Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm sorry? If? If, okay, he asked if, what else? It would. I will. <laughs> okay, if I will, can I say this? He asked if I will go to work. Will. Ah, will. Uh, instead of will, I'm going to use. Will. Very good. Would. So he asked or he asked me if I would go to work tomorrow. All right. So, in case that you don't remember the structure, remember if you are using will as future, when we use the report of the speech, we switch. And now we are going to use would. Okay? Yes. So, here we got some examples about report of the speech, just no questions in future. Will you go to the cinema this week? What did she say? What did she ask? She asked us if we would go to the cinema. This week. Yes, exactly. So she asked, you can change it. She asked me or she asked us if we or if I would go to the cinema this week. And what do you think, guys? Will you go to the cinema this week? No. I will not. No, I won't. Okay. So imagine in this case, no, I won't. Hmm. What did he say? Remember, now we can report the questions, affirmatives, and negative sentences. So what did he say? Mm -hmm. He said that what do you think how am i going to say this he not will <laughs> mm, remember this is future wouldn't ah he said that he wouldn't okay or if you want to give more details he said that he wouldn't go to the cinema, all right? So look at this, everyone. Now we can report the yes, no question, but also we can report the answer to. That's the idea that we need to be able to report the questions, the affirmatives or the negative sentences too. Now look at the next one. Will you watch movies in your free time? Uh -huh, everyone, what would be the report of the speech? What did she ask? She asked me if I will see, oh, yeah, I forget the rest of the, <laughs> of the question. <laughs> okay, she asked me if I would. If I watched movies in, your free, in my free time. Ah, very good. She asked me 
if I would, and the rest what? of the sentence, guys, is the same. If I will watch movies in my free time. Free time. <laughs> Very good. And will you guys, will you watch movies in your free time? I hope not. Yes, I okay, some of you say yes, some of you maybe no, right? Yes, so I will. <laughs> imagine that if my answer is yes. So, will you watch movies in your free time? Yes, teacher, I will watch movies. Hmm, okay, so what did he say? Ah, he said... Uh -huh. that he, he would watch movies. Ah, that he would. That he would watch movies. Yes. Can I say in my free time? No, in his no. free time. In his. We're about him. Exactly. Very good job. Very good job. All right. Now I will be asking individual. Uh, let me see if everybody remembers. Let me ask to, 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 to turn Osman Enrique. Hello, Osman. Hello, teacher. Okay, Osman, will you wake up early tomorrow? What did she ask? Uh, she asked me, she asked, asked me if I were wake up early tomorrow. Very good. And will you? Will you wake up early? Yes, teacher. I will wake up early early tomorrow. What time? Um, five, 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Okay. So look at this, guys. Osman said, I will wake up at 5 a.m. Uh-huh. Tell me, guys, what did he say? He say that he will wake up in the morning tomorrow. <laughs> wake up in the morning? <laughs> at 5 a.m. Very good. Wake up at 5 a.m. If you see, guys, the only things that we need to change is pronoun and the grammar tense. So basically, the rule is the same, all right? Pretty good. Osman, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Okay, teacher, uh, let me see. Carlos Mauricio. Thank you. Okay, Carlos, will you celebrate Christmas? What did she ask? Um, he asked me, if I will celebrate Christmas. Nice, very good job. And will you? Will you celebrate Christmas? Yes, I will. What will you do? Uh, I will try to go to the beach at that uh, day. Okay. So I will try to go to the beach. What did he say? He said us. He said that uh -huh. um, he will yeah. try to go to the beach. That's the one. Very good job. Excellent. Carlos, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Um. Yes. Uh, Oscar Alexis. Thank you. Hello, Oscar. Hello, Oscar. Are you there? Yes, yes, yes. I'm here. Excellent. No, okay, Oscar, will you see the parade on Independence Day? What did she ask? Uh, you asked me if I would see the parade on Independence Day. Nice job. And will you? Will no, you maybe see? not. Maybe not. I like staying home. Ah, okay. So, guys, pay attention. He said... I like to stay at home. What did he say? Volunteer? Mm -hmm. I like to stay at home. Is that future? No. 
Ah, interesting. Present. That is not future. That is present. Present. So in this case, present. if it is in present, what do I need to do? Be back to okay. past. Correct. So what did he say? Mm -hmm. Volunteer? Like to sit at home. All right. He said he like or liked. Like. Likes. Like. Ah, he liked to stay at home. All right. So this is the idea, everyone. The purpose for the reported speech is that you have to be able to report basically everything. Affirmative or negative sentences, imperatives, just no questions, double H questions, in present, in past, in future. Okay? That is basically the purpose for this unit. So, is it clear? How we can report it, just no questions in future? Yes. Yes? Any questions so far? What is a parade? <laughs> oh, parade is, um, I don't want to say the word in Spanish, but during the Independence Day, there are some bands, the soul oh, that they march in the street. Uh-huh. Parade uh, means the spillers. Yes, exactly. So look at this picture, for example. Obviously, in our country, it's not so huge. Yeah, we don't have balloons. <laughs> uh -huh. But for example, in our country, the parades look like, like this ones. You know, people with uniforms, with some drums, walking on the streets. You know, so that is basically a parade. Okay. Okay. Pretty good. All right. Now, guys, before continue, I'm going to check attendance. So when you listen to your names, please say present. Um, Amanda Leonela Zamora. Present. Very good. Ana Lorena Lovato. Ana Lorena Lovato. All right. Uh, Boris Alexander Cortez. Okay, I think that he's listener. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Mauricio Menjiva. Present. Thank you. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present teacher. Thank you. Elias Neftali Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eulice Torres Torres. Okay, very good. Irma Evelyn Rodriguez. Present. Okay, very good. Jose Salvador Bernal. Present teacher. Very good. Josman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Kevin Alexander Pérez. Present. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present. Very good. Maria Jose Siguenza. Okay. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Okay. Thank Present. You. Okay. Very good. Oscar Alexis Lara. Present. All right. Osman Enrique Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Pamela Carolina Molina. Okay, I think she's listener. All right. Rafael Alexander Serna. Present. Thank you. Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Present. All right. Cifrido Ernesto Gomez. Present teacher. Okay. Wilber Alberto Perez. Present teacher. Very good. And Andrea Jamilet Mendoza. Present. Excellent. Very good. All right. Let's continue then. Now, let's stop thinking a little bit about the reported speech. Okay. Let's relax a little bit. We are going to talk about something different. And then we are going to uh, practice the reported speech. 
speech again. But right now, guys, we are going to talk about this. Identify issues, okay? You, if you remember during the previous classes, we have been talking about online shopping. Online shopping has positive, but also some negative aspects, okay? So that is what we are going to discuss right now. We are going to see some vocabulary. So please guys, every new word, write it down. So I need some people, please, two volunteers for reading. Who wants to read? Me, teacher. Okay, Elias, thank you. Who else? Me, me. Irma, thank you. Okay, Elias, you will be Alan. Irma, you will be Maria. I will, let's see, let me try to open the reading. Yeah, so you can see it bigger. Remember everyone, this is in your manuals, okay? So here we have a conversation. Alan is reporting some questions at customers who's visiting the website, okay? So there is a customer asking questions. So let's see what's going on here. Uh, Elias, you start. There's these customers in the online store asking a lot of question about the decorative pillows. What would the customer like to know about the product? Well, the customer asked if the shipping was for free and then the same person posed a different question. They asked whether the pillows were made in China or, or America. And finally, the customer asked if we have a return pol uh, policy. Let the customer know that international shipping has an extra cost and tell them the pillows were made in China. And please post a link in the comments to return policy document. Thank you, very good. Can you see guys some reported speech here? Do we have reported speech in this conversation? They yes. asked where the pillows were ah. made. Kind of All right. So look at this one. The customer asked, first of all, if the shipping was for was free. 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 Also, they ask whether, yeah. what is the meaning of weather? The it's same as if. if. Very good. So whether the pillows were made in China or America. Another report of the speech is the customer asked if we have a return policy. Yes. So look at this, guys. We use reported speech all the time. Okay. And this is a very useful topic, especially when you are working in a company uh, with people, right, who speak the language, okay? So it's a very useful topic. Now, let's see. Is the shipping for free according to this reading, guys? Mm -hmm. mm, no. Yes or no? No. No, no. definitely no. not. How about in our country, guys? If you buy something online in our country, is the shipping for free? No. It depends on the area that you live. You ah, live. Very good. So there are some websites that, for example, the local. Let's talk about local um, stores. If you live, for example, in San Salvador area, right? They can say, ah, that the shipping is for free just because you are in the area. But now if you live in La Libertad, if you live in Santa Ana, in La Paz, or in another city, no, the shipping is not for free anymore. You have to pay, okay? I now, can confirm that. Uh-huh. I can confirm that. <laughs> Definitely. And the farther that you live, the more expensive the they will charge. Definitely. Now, if I want to report this question, what did she ask? 
she asked me if the if the shipping shipping for free was for free was was was, was for free for free that is the one so she asked me if the shipping was for free very good job now according to the reading guys are the pillows made in china or america in china, china. made in china <laughs> like like everything right <laughs> yes, almost we everything were made, we were made on china too <laughs> <laughs> could be we never know right yes, yes. in this case reported the speech what did she ask she asked me if the pillows uh -huh. oh, were, were? were made Ah, very good. Remember, in this case, only the verb to be is going to change, and the rest of the <laughs> sentence is the same. Were made in China. China or America. Very good job. Okay, according to the reading, do you have a return policy? What do you think? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. And what is the reported speech here? She asked me uh -huh. if did they have a return policy? Mm, okay, if did they, they have, have a return, return policy? Um, Are you sure? Mm, I don't know if I have to change have to had because I already changed do to D. So do I need or, the auxiliary? Hmm. No, you, no, you don't need, need it. The ad no. if, if they had a return policy. All right. Remember, everyone, the auxiliary is when you have questions or negative sentences. But when mm -hmm. we are using the reported speech, we have an affirmative sentence. We don't need the mm -hmm. auxiliary anymore. So the only yes. one that is going to change is the main Exactly. She asked me if they had a if we had policy. If we had. Ah, very good. If we had. Okay. Yes. Very good job. So look, we have reported the speech everywhere. Okay? That's why this point is very, very important, everyone. As I mentioned, um in the future guys maybe you will have some customers where you need to talk in english right and imagine if your boss or if your supervisor asks, hey what did the customer say so you have to report it imagine that your supervisor say okay what did the customer ask i need to know so you have to report it okay now, let's see some vocabulary. According to this reading, we can see shipping fees. What do you think, guys? What is the meaning of shipping fees? What is like that? Taxes. The price. Uh-huh. So the imagine price. that I want to buy something from Amazon. Do you think that they will send the package for free? No. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> you think this is your prime or not? Ah. If, prime, if you live on the United States, <laughs> depending on the area, depending what kind of customers you are. But if you are just a regular, a regular customer that you know you live far, you are not a premium customer, you have to pay for it. So that is the meaning for shipping fees. Okay, now. Inaccurate sizing. What is that, guys? What do you understand for inaccurate mm. sizing? It's maybe a okay. size, uh, a wrong size. Have you ever had that problem, guys? When you buy yes. some clothes online and yeah, it's I not bought the size? some t-shirts that say XL and they are not XL like here on El Salvador. They were bigger or smaller? 
smaller. Smaller. Oh. Europe was, was not a well, problem. <laughs> China is smaller, and in United States, uh, usually it's bigger. Ah, and that's guys is depends from a uh, that's that's something interesting because that is something that I was reading, and it's depend of the culture, China and the Asiatic, uh, countries, right? If you remember, they try to have um uh, the image, and they, for example, women, right? They always try to be very thin. That's why the letter S, small here, is not the same there. There, the small is even is smaller. So it's going to depend it's a on baby the country. Size. Mm -hmm. Yes. It appear. <laughs> exactly. So it's going to depend, as your classmate mentioned, depending on the country, right? That's very interesting. Now, a misleading product descriptions what is that guys what do you think Misleading product descriptions maybe in a product description that is uh, okay. confusing ah okay have you ever seen some videos guys maybe on youtube or your social networks it's pretty funny when some people buy something online and they oh. think that the product is going to be big, <laughs> but when they receive the product, it looks like a toy. Have you ever seen those videos? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see one that uh, they bought an iPhone and it was, uh, no, they bought on PS5 and only was a, a page with the PS5 printed on it. <laughs> so Imagine, <laughs> so. That is misleading product description, right? Sometimes the description says something, but then when you receive the products, sometimes the descriptions and the products, well, they don't match, all right? So that is the problem. Have you ever had a situation, guys, with a misleading product description? Yes, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I bought... Uh filter for my vacuum and in the website it says the it says that the model well the exactly model of my vacuum but when it arrives uh it, it was a different model for a different vacuum really yes so, and it doesn't fit so i can do anything with that <laughs> my gosh yeah that is very disgusting and frustrating right Yes. Anyone else, guys? Have you ever had this terrible situation with a misleading product description? No? All right. Remember that this happens especially when you buy online. If you go to the store, do you think that you are going to have this issue? Mm -hmm. I don't I think I don't. <laughs> Probably you don't, right? Because remember, if you go to the store, you can see the product, right? So you will see exactly what you are going to buy. Now, the next one, payment issues. Everybody, what do you think? What is payment issues? Uh, when you can pay <laughs> on the website. Yes, when you can pay. Or why? Why could be some of the reasons, guys, that you can It can be because the bank your the credit card is doesn't um is is uh, the credit card is not uh available to the platform, or uh -huh. sometimes it's because the, they are blocking for international charge. Very good. So that, that happens to me recently. <laughs> Not all the time, guys, it's just because ah, I don't have credit. Not yeah. really, right? Sometimes it's an issue uh, with the platform. It's an issue with some international policies. Sometimes it's security reasons from your bank, right? And that's why you cannot complete the payment and you have payment issues. And what can we do if we have some payment issues? Right. Call the bank. <laughs> <laughs> Call the bank. What else, Sifrida? 
hold on i'm listening to a lot of people at the same time okay see free the first then amanda and then carlos you can cry and also if the same ah. <laughs> church you a lot of money because it's like an international operation and church mm, additional fees you can cry a lot <laughs> you can cry Don't a lot <laughs> <laughs> i like that uh-huh amanda what else can you we can do try with another card or another payment method sometimes yeah. they accept another payment method sounds good and carlos use other credit card Ah, or <laughs> stop buying sometimes, guys. This is a sign that you should have seen that product. <laughs> a holy yeah. sign. I have to That's try good. all the possibilities. <laughs> yeah. This is the last time. Yeah, recently <laughs> I have to try all my credit cards uh, until I, only one work. And I try happened. every, every, every credit card <laughs> so that that's a sign sometimes maybe god is trying to help you <laughs> hey don't do it so maybe we never know now the don't last spend one your money <laughs> exactly <laughs> but you insist you call the bank you try with another credit card guys come on <laughs> okay then we have poor packaging what is that uh, when they it, <laughs> it, it doesn't protect the item it doesn't protect your product exactly so just look at the picture guys it yes. suppose that <laughs> it's a very delicate product <laughs> and look at the package way so have you ever received a product guys with a poor packaging yes especially from china <laughs> <laughs> And how, what happens with the product? Did the product get um, damaged? Not too much. It was still usable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, still. All right. Yeah, I, I remember it was a keyboard. It was ah. a little bit um, bent, but it's still working. <laughs> hmm, okay. How about you guys? Have you ever received a package with a, a, a full packaging? Sorry, what is the meaning of bent? The no. <laughs> no, it's I can, I can me. Say it in oh. Spanish. I'm sorry. Yes, bend is like when you have an object that is with a curve, like yeah, this. a curve. Yes, and uh -huh. it's supposed to be okay, like in, okay. yeah, flat. Like this. <laughs> it's supposed to be flat. <laughs> oh, but it's not okay, flat okay. anymore. Uh huh. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So everybody, uh huh. Have you ever received a package or a product with a poor packaging? And think about it. Not only don't think about uh, when you shop on Amazon or things like that. For example, something that had happened to me is that sometimes I buy food online and I ask for the delivery, <laughs> <laughs> and when the food arrives to me, I mean, <laughs> it, it looks terrible right i mean the package is obviously it, it was a poor packaging so the food looks <laughs> destroyed basically <laughs> i don't know if have you ever had Mixed. that situation yes mm -hmm. it yeah. happens sometimes okay Amanda, once upon a you? time i received a uh, soup but it was the middle of soup oh my god so i called the <laughs> restaurant and they they Earn a new soup to me, but it was funny because it really was the middle of soup. <laughs> so, mm. yeah, that happens, everyone. And this is with the poor packaging. So, again, these are some of the issues that we can have when we shop online. Okay. Is it clear the vocabulary? Yes. Yes? Yes, it's clear. Yeah, it's clear. Did you copy the vocabulary already? No. Yes, the chair. Okay, copy, please. We are going to discuss some questions because I want to everybody participate. So, can I change the slide? Yes? Go ahead, teacher. For me, it's okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, 
We are going to ask and answer some questions. For example, how expensive are shipping fees in your country? I wanted to discuss this question with your classmates, but try to give examples. I know that not all of us used to buy uh, things online. Not all of us are like very um, frequent users from online shopping. However, this applies for everything, okay? Imagine guys, shipping fees. If you buy something in, let's think about La Curacao, Omnisport. Imagine if you buy a refrigerator and you don't have a pickup, <laughs> You know, do you, you don't have a car to take the, the refrigerator with you? Do you consider that the cheap and fees is expensive or not? Sometimes uh, with the mobile, mobiliary, it, it's okay. Mobiliary. What no. are you trying to say? No, no the furniture. Sorry. Ah, furniture? Usually with the furniture, the cost of the shipping is for free. Uh -huh. but very good it's because the cost of the the furniture it's uh, a big cost that's so what i want include... exactly so that's what i wanted to describe i want you to think about in all of the areas right when you paid a lot when you don't pay a lot in which cases is expensive in which cases is not that expensive okay so I'm going to send all the questions on WhatsApp's group and we are going to discuss it in the groups, in the breakup rooms. Um, please, not a Spanish, if suddenly you find a word that you don't know how to say it, let's help each other or you know what to do. We have a dictionary, okay? Can we mimic it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, as long as your classmates identify the correct word in English, okay? But yes, okay. of course, you can. You can draw if you want. Something uh -huh. useful, guys, is that um, you can even search for some pictures. When you don't know how to explain your classmate, you can share some pictures. That helps a lot too, okay? Now, let's see. Um, I already sent the questions and with subs group. Let me create the groups, everyone. Give me a second. Okay, one moment. I can see some, well, a lot of listeners today. Oh my gosh. Give me a second. Remember guys, if one of your classmates is not talking because sometimes you know that some of your classmates might be shy. So push them, okay? Try to convince them to talk. Okay, pretty good. Uh, the ones that are listeners, I'm not going to join you guys. Uh, so because, I mean, you are listeners, okay? The rest of you guys, let's go to the breakup rooms. Let's participate, please. Let's go, zero Spanish. Hello. Hi. Hi. Andrea. Hi, Carlos. Okay. Is the questions. How okay. expensive are shipping fees in your country? Well, if you're asking me that to me, <clears throat> I don't really know. I... I all that I know is like they are they are 
expensive. Sí. That I know. So, uh, I think it, it depends for what package do you want to quote. I think it's the verb, cotizar. Depends of how much you will buy. Could be. Okay. For example, if you want to um, carry the technology implement or another one, for that you have to pay uh, much money. Mm -hmm. And you, Kevin, what do you think about that? Uh, we are talking about the questions. The question. first question: How expensive are shipping fees in your country? Mm, well, right now I am trying to buy some product in in chain in app chain, uh, but uh, a friend told told me that I need to pay the even when the product arrive in our country but the the transportation is free if i if i buy if i buy por encima if i buy, buy mm -hmm. about excuse me higher highest over over over, over uh, 50 dollars the transportation is free, but always, always I need to pay IVA when the product arrives in, in El Salvador. Taxes. And this is the third, 13. 13, 13%, right? Mm -hmm. I, uh, it is. And you, Ricardo? Uh as I was saying, uh, I don't really know how how much it is for the fees, but <clears throat> I know it depends of, of the size of the product and the um, how much I don't remember the word. Um how much are you pushing pushing? Or my mm, the weight, the weight, the, it depends on the of the weight of the product also the mm. the size and the weight. So uh -huh. is that that I know? Okay. Okay. Sometimes if if the product be... is big, is the product is, is small? It's the yes. Uh, the... It's the band because uh, as Kevin says, uh, if the product uh, it's big um, and. Uh, the cost is more expensive because uh, the weight is uh, depend the cost. It's heavy. Yes. The weight is heavy. Yes, when the weight is heavy, uh, the cost uh, is high. It's Higher. high. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. I agree you, I agree with you. No, I agree with you. Uh, depends of the kind of product is something um like a computer or something like that, or if you are buying. Okay, I. You guys haven't any issue with a uh, specific clothes, or I think well... it's easier to it for you. Mm. Well, for me, it's okay because I I investigate very hard. Uh, Your beside, side. Beside the, the, the bag. Uh, for example, I have a, a jacket of litter. And it's okay for me. Oh. It's very nice. And you know I buy it. Sizes. Or your measurement. Yes. Uh, 
and I buy it in Amazon. Oh, cool. Yeah. So you, Elias, and Carlos? Mm, uh, I think that, that it's most easy, it's most easy for men buy in online uh, <laughs> that woman. My case, I, I, I don't problem. Number two, no, no problem. Mm, uh, it's called the product when uh, to buy online. Cool. I I prefer shop uh, uh buy just uh, shoes because I know my uh, specific centimeters of the shoes. So this is uh -huh. like an universal universal size. It's better uh buy in a physical stores uh the clothes um the shoes for example. No, no uh, the shoes for me no that's no problem because it it um no matter the what the size they say because all the sizes have the conversion to centimeters. Okay. So if in China I have the six like the size of shoes, I can check the centimeters. That is no problem. But you, with the clothes, you can make teeth. Okay, in the USA, the uh, they use inch. Maybe can can be inch. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I I remember that uh something, I I buy a uh, motorcycle gloves. And and these gloves are so tight for my hands. That's a, a problem. And for mm -hmm. an inaccurate size. Oh, for an, mm. an inaccurate, yes. inaccurate. Oh, inaccurate size. Maybe yes. that is because this is a specific uh cloth, like the gloves. It's in and it's an specific gloves, not just glove. It's motorcycle. Gloves. Yeah. Uh, I, I... Uh, small, small. But when when she and I went to to uh, get the product, uh, uh, the 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 product uh, was uh, different. The size uh, was early. Very, very, uh, very big. Uh, only kinds, only kinds. Uh, I remember this topic. In your case, the cloth was bigger than yes, you expected. Yes, the, the, the pants uh, was bigger. Uh, uh, was early, and uh, my wife think. I bought a small. <laughs> and what do you do? And what did you do? Uh, my uh, in, in this case, I, I I don't I don't bought the product. It was uh, my wife, uh -huh. uh, but uh, she uh, she called called uh, the the platform uh, in this page uh, on Facebook, and and she. Told them, told them, say, hey, the pro, uh, what's other, uh, what's other size? I don't, I don't, I don't want uh, this pro. I want to change or give me the money or, or return the money, please. Um, and I remember uh, the owner, of the store, uh, just tra trajo, trajo, llevó. Uh, uh, all other products. Mm -hmm. uh, give give her all, all other others products. Yeah. In this case, the the, the owner uh, give her uh, two pants. Mm -hmm. My wife returned one pant, and the owner give her two pants. Okay. The um. I, 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 okay, you received a gift. Yes, yes. I received a, for the convenience that you. For the convenience, yes. I think 
Yeah, it was no, no, no bad. If I think the owner was responsible. Yes, that's all. How about well, you guys? Well, uh, as I as I far as I know, uh, I uh, I don't buy online, but once my wife uh, did it, uh, she wanted to buy a bicycle for my for my son, but uh, she had a problem because the bicycle was a. Uh, bigger big uh, was big uh, for him so uh, she had the problem and uh, she had to go to the store and explain it that she she saw a different product as they uh, show it but uh, it wasn't a, a big problem because they they changed the bicycle He's coming. He's coming. Let's talk about. Let, let's speak English. It's, no, just, just kidding. English, just just kidding, teacher. <laughs> um, what can you do if you have payment issues when you shop online? I repeat. Uh, what can you do if you have payment issues when you shop online? Regret. Start regretting. Mm, get mad. <laughs> <laughs> That's yes, what yes, always so uh, uh, the first thing that comes to my mind <laughs> to my mind <laughs> get mad. <laughs> what uh, yeah. what type of issues can we have in 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 this in this shop online? Mm, they Maybe... charge you the wrong price or um oh, yes your bank declined the the, the transaction and uh, you can buy the things that you want. It happens recently to me. <laughs> I, like I say, oh, I try really? all my cards, my credit cards, uh, until one works. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everyone rebounds. Yeah. What oh, else? Uh, <laughs> what else? Uh, sometimes happens that when you bought online, um. Mm -hmm. Uh, you maybe your your credit card is not enabled to shop outside the El Salvador, so it that that's why the card declines when you try to to use it. Um, that that happens to me recently too. <laughs> I go abroad, I go to Guatemala, so I forget mm -hmm. uh, to report to the bank that I will go outside the country. So. One of my cards don't work, and I was a little bit um, um well, I don't remember the name um of this um, emotion. Um, I was a little bit um, shy. Not shy. Shy, shy. is not the word. I was embarrassed. Embarrassed. Embar embarrassed. I don't remember the pronunciation. I was embarrassed. Uh, because the card declines and. I say that the, the cashier that uh, try try it again and try it again and it always go decline but decline. So I, I feel a little bit um mad, bad about that. <laughs> but then uh, the bank and what did you do? Uh, the bank sent me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I use another credit card. I just uh, uh... say say thank you next next credit card and that work that works. That works, <laughs> uh, yeah. Because maybe it, it's okay when you when you first. Uh, uh, but when if you, you wouldn't, you... if you wouldn't have another credit card, what would you do? Uh, I was with my to... family, so I can um, just lend their some money. <laughs> yes. Okay. But, <laughs> but if, if nobody, I was alone, I have if nobody to wants to dishes. send you the money, yeah, that yeah. that's one good uh one good uh thing to do. <laughs> but I think if I was alone on Guatemala, I will have to wash the dishes <laughs> to pay. <laughs> uh -huh. 
<laughs> Maybe you got to do a body payment. Body payment? Why? <laughs> the people that, that like in the class the, the class is being recorded. <laughs> <laughs> it's I it, know it's, it's, sorry. it's Oscar fault. He he starts this this uh <laughs> these conversations. I was just talking about <laughs> the feelings. And I need to laugh. That's why I I need okay. to 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 get awkward the conversation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or is the experience who is talking about? No, yeah. <laughs> no, nobody Thank wants me. <laughs> okay, because of the time, let's go to the uh, next question because we don't have. Okay. Time. Have you ever question. received a producto, a producto with poor producto packaging? With poor packaging. I don't know what producto means. My bad. Sorry. I'm sorry. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> I just was checking if you were paying attention. That's why. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, have you ever received a product with poor packaging? Maybe. I don't pay. I don't have online. Teacher, we have a problem here. I'm the only one that buys. Yes, that's, online. <laughs> that's why we can discuss this kind of topic. Because I have it's never like, bought something speaking, online. I, I, I was the only, the only. And, and how about only. how about food? Have you ever asked for yes. delivery food? Yeah, but thank you. So have you, you ever received a, a food a food delivery with poor packaging? No, I don't buy things that that way. Not, not no. even food. No, no, nothing. I I can <laughs> go personally. What, what about the food that you that you uh, call the place and? Thank you, and you I pay don't do that either. <laughs> I go for the, for the shop and buy. Hey, I need a pizza. Yes, bring okay. bring it to me. <laughs> you walk to buy it. How about how, okay? How about you, Salvador? You don't buy it online either. Uh, repeat, please. Do you buy online or not? Um. Yes. Yes. Okay. I buy Don't lie, uh, Salvador. Today, today Tell us I the buy a, a book from oh, Mexico. Oh, no. Ah, oh. so you see, very good. So, you see, Oscar, you need to try the experience. No, but I, yeah, I need to start. Need to <laughs> I need to start lying for, for start a conversation because I uh, have never done that before. Yeah, but you sometimes true. you had to do it <laughs> to lie. Don't follow yeah. that advice. <laughs> okay, listen. Um, okay, we're going to meet that one because we need to return to the main room. Okay. Okay. Very good. Let's go back. Time's up, everybody. Let's go back to the main room. All right, all right. Uh, let's wait for everyone. Some of your classmates are still in the breakup rooms. <laughs> I was listening to all kind of conversations in different groups. But you know, something that I like is that you were trying to omit the Spanish. So thank you, guys. That's the attitude. Very good job. Okay, let's wait for everyone. Uh, let's see. Some of your classmates are still in the breakup rooms. Okay, okay, let's go back, everyone. All right, all right. Could you answer all of the questions, everybody? Mm, no, teacher. Uh, no. no. We lost the in my board. group, just three questions. One left. Okay, what happens is that you were talking a lot. I like that. <laughs> Excellent. So, did your classmates uh, give details when they were talking? Yes, a lot of details. That's <laughs> nice. I was listening to some funny experiences. I was listening Bad to experiences. <laughs> epic fails. <laughs> 
definitely and some gossipings right so but nice guys you were giving details and remember that is the purpose i want you to talk when you go to the breakup rooms i want you to feel free to talk of course always related to the topic of course but try to talk okay don't be shy um, in that moment guys um, you are there just to talk okay um, i know that we make mistakes uh, in grammar right but that moment you just have to talk okay have that freedom to talk remember that maybe this is the only moment that you will have to talk in english I know that maybe some of you have the opportunity to talk in English when you are in your job, but for some others, guys, this is the only moment that you have to speak in English. So let's take advantage about it and let's be free to talk. I wish I could give you more time, but <laughs> we need to cover more topics. But don't worry, we are going to have more speaking activities. And remember that this is for every day. Every day we are going to speak here in the class. Um, let's see, did your classmates speak in Spanish? No. Never, right? No, never, ever. Oh, teacher. <laughs> and some <laughs> others are like, mm, suspicious, suspicious. All right. Now, something really good, as I mentioned, is that you were talking a lot. Now, there are some little details that we also, guys, need to be very careful with. For example, um, and as I mentioned, guys, I know that sometimes when we are talking, we are not paying attention in grammar. However, it is important to be careful, all right, to always try to improve in those little areas. Um, for example, I don't know, can you see what I'm sharing, everyone? Yes. Yes, I can. Excellent. So imagine if I say, ah, it's more easy. Easier. Ah, easier. Very good. Remember, easy is a short adjective, right? So we cannot say more easy. We say easier. Now, if I'm talking in simple past, can I say, ah, I buy the product? No, I bought it. No. Ah, no. I bought. Okay. Bo I bought, bought the product. I bought. bought. I prefer buy. I prefer to buy. I prefer to buy. Ah, <laughs> let's separate the verbs. Ah, I had a problem. It was more small. Small. It was smaller. It was smaller. So, it's smaller. Case, exactly. It's the same example as easy, right? Small is a short adjective, so we have to say small. Okay, we cannot say more. Uh, pronunciation. I was listening to a lot this word. So what is the pronunciation, everyone? Inconvenient. 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 Remember, sometimes I was listening to some people say inconvenient. So inconvenient, okay? Now another verb in present, but the people who said this verb, they were talking in past. What is the past? Forgot. 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 Ah, very good. Oops. I for <laughs> I was trying to have capital letters, sorry. So I forgot. And as I mentioned, guys, please the verbs. We need to memorize the verbs. There is not another option, okay? So um, it was pretty funny. I know that some of you guys are not familiar with buying online. <laughs> I was listening to one group that's only one member of the team <laughs> was buying online and the other ones don't. And I know that you can feel that you cannot give your opinion about this topic. But remember guys, when we are talking about buy online, as I mentioned before, not necessarily when you go to a specific platform. Just imagine that there is a restaurant near your house, <laughs> a pupuseria, let's call it like that, and you send a WhatsApp message and say, hey, I want $1 of cheese pupusas, right? 
that can be considered an online shopping. Why? You don't go to the store, right? You are just asking for the product and they will send the product. That could be an example that you can take because you don't feel identified with the shopping online, okay? So little details, just try to be familiar with that. Now, let me interview some of you. I will ask to the people with the camera off. So I will start with Elias. Hello, Elias, are you there? <laughs> yes, teacher, I'm here. Excellent. Elias, how expensive are shipping fees in your country? Um, well, my, uh, my answer was that I, I never, uh, buy online, <laughs> but, uh, my partner say that, um, mm, is, is, uh, is not, uh, cheaper. It's not cheap. It's not cheap. Oh, okay. Could be. So what do you think, guys? Did you agree with him? Yes. Is it cheap or it is not cheap? What do you think? Is expensive or not? Or depends on the situation? Depends on the product. Depends on the product, okay. Size, weight, the kind of product. Exactly. Very good. Very good. So there are different factors that are going to influence in the price of the ship and fees. Very good. Elias, pick one of your classmates, please. Um, Kevin. Which uh, one? Which one? Ke Kevin Alfredo. Kevin Alfredo. Okay, Kevin. <laughs> have, you, have you ever bought a product and received an inaccurate sourcing? Sizing, uh, really, I didn't buy a, a cloth or shoes online. Mm -hmm. so I, I prefer to go uh, to the physical store. Uh, okay, right... hold on, hold on. How do we say physical store? Um, brick, Montmortage, warehouse, stores. Mortage. Yes. Mortar. No. Mortar. 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 Three and mortar. Yes. Mortar is something different. Okay. So, Kevin, you Sorry. prefer? Uh, can you repeat the word, please? Brick and mortar. Brick and mortar. Yes. I prefer to go to brick and mortar. Store. A store. A store. Brick uh -huh. and mortal stores. Uh, but right now I am trying to buy some clothes, some t-shirts on chain. Uh -huh. it, it's going to be my first uh the buy first time on, online with clothes. Um I I hope that I don't have inaccurate sizing. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> yeah. All right, yes. And as I said, these, we are talking about the risks, right? Sometimes you can receive the perfect product exactly as you want, or sometimes no. But Kevin... I hope that you receive exactly what you want. Okay, <laughs> very good. Okay, Kevin, pick one of your classmates. Um, Carlos Ernesto. Hello, Carlos. Hello. Carlos, <laughs> tell me, what can you do if you have payment issues when you shop online? And look at this, guys. When we are talking about payment issues, this is a very huge topic, not only because your credit card was declined, but also what happens if you don't have the right price. Maybe the product sets $20 and in your bills appear like $50. So those are issues with the payments. Uh-huh, Carlos. 
have you ever or I mean what can we do if you have those kind of issues in my experience I think no problem but uh, I I think <laughs> I have I um there is um how to have a lot of money <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, oh, I, I think um in the guy in okay. the how can we say that guys mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> no. yeah. questioning maybe i don't know i don't know what teacher <laughs> okay if you what? You can say investigate, investigate, Lord. Uh, I think figure out. Mm, yeah, even figure out it sounds good. Uh, I believe the first investigate the product, um, the fondos, the what uh, the fondos. I don't know. Uh, I mean, the, when you say your fondos, do you mean the um the money the that you money, have? The money, yeah. Ah, okay, uh, so you money, can say your funds. The funds, the credit card or debit card, or the first uh, before the, to buy the product. That's true. Definitely, you have to be pretty sure about uh, how much money you have. You have to be ready, right, for any kind of this kind of inconvenience. Let's it's, see. Uh, uh, sometimes uh, I, I the problem, for example, the iPod, uh -huh. when the the package ex extra With surprise ah, package. you have to pay it's, more. <laughs> yes, the problem really. Really, I know, I know, and yeah. that is a very common one. And that is, I think, that this is this is an, an strategy of the airlines <laughs> companies to earn more money. All right, pretty good. Thank you, Carlos. Pick one of your classmates, please. Uh, let's see, <laughs> Amanda. All right, hello, Amanda. Hello, have you ever received a product with poor packaging? Yes. What happened? I received uh, um I received um a suit that was good, but sometimes I received the uh, poor packaging with I don't know like um uh, hair hair clips or and a specific clothes, for example, uh, with shoes, usually the box is uh, like <laughs> then, yeah. <laughs> okay. So talking about the soup that you received, that it was just half of that soup, will I just received them the, the <laughs> a, a meat of soup. <laughs> the half of it. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you continue buying on that store? Yes, but because they had an excellent um, a customer service and they respond immediately about my claim. So uh -huh. they sent me a new suit without any extra charge and I, uh, I get satisfied about the service. <laughs> so the second suit was complete? Was or was... Soup. Well, it was a complete suit, yeah. Okay. So you ate also, I think they they send up uh a smart uh, dessert like okay. a, uh an ad um an ad on by my they both to silent yeah <laughs> they did yes. okay sounds good excellent guys very good I'm glad that you were speaking thank you so much for participating now. Easy or difficult, the vocabulary? What do you think? Uh -huh. We have some difficult to use some words uh, about banks, uh, like a fondos, like uh, something like that. That's true. Uh, we need to, to try to find the, 
another maybe another synonymous to to try to explain or search it in the internet in the moment. Yes. Remember that when we are talking about a very specific area that in this case we are talking about financials, vocabulary, economy, you know, it's difficult. We are learning the language, so not all the time, guys, we are going to memorize every single word. There are some words in Spanish that we don't even know, right? In Spanish. So in English, it's difficult to cover all the areas, right? So as Carlos mentioned, try to search for synonyms or, I mean, dictionary, guys. There is no problem to use the dictionary. At the contrary, that's going to help you a lot. Okay? Pretty good. All right. Teacher, now excuse me. Uh, okay. he... Uh, what is the word at uh, the physical store? Brick and mortal. Mortal, mm -hmm. like a person. Mortal combat. Uh -huh. <laughs> like mortal combat. combat. Thank, you. Thank you. Excellent. That's a good reference. Uh -huh. yes. uh -huh. Full gamer, Kevin. <laughs> yes, I, of course. I saw much combat. Do you remember Mortal Kombat? I'm sorry, day? guys. I, I don't listen to Amanda. I'm sorry, Amanda. What do you say? Thank you. No, no, no that's a friend. I, I thought that was Mortal. Not Mortal. It's Mortal. Exactly. With R at the end, not I'm like sending, Mortal. I'm sending it. Yes, I'm sending it in the yes, chat. Yes, please. <laughs> I already sent it. Brick. And mortar. Oh, oh my bad. <laughs> my bad. I mean, the reference that your classmate gave is good to remember. That is like a good technique. Mortal. Ah, okay, I can remember the word. Just remember that the spelling is with R, right? Mortar. With R, yeah. Yes. Very good. So that is when you want to say the store. I mean the physical one when you can see the employees face to face okay so i know that some of you prefer brick and mortar the store some others prefer online shopping so that is optional now guys after talking about the issues that we can find when shopping online it's time to go back to review your favorite topic <laughs> yes I know, I know that you like this topic. Yes, of course. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, listen, we are going to continue practicing reported speech, okay? But now only with the information questions. Now, we talked in the previous class about simple present. The rule is the same. If I have a sentence in simple present, in which grammar tense am I going to report it? Simple, simple past. past. In simple past. As simple as that. Okay? Now, everybody, remember the double H questions starts with a double H word. Can you tell me, please, an example of information questions in simple presence, please? How old are you? Very good. How old are you? This one or how? Yes, how old are you? Okay, pretty good. How old are you? So guys, what did he ask? Uh-huh. Ask me how. Uh-huh. Old I, I was. was. Very good. So when we are reporting it, these kind of questions, everybody, the rules are exactly the same, okay? Look, we need to change the pronouns. Yes, if it is necessary. Do we need to change the verb into past? Yes, absolutely. And remember, do I need the word if in this case? No. 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 Instead of if, I'm going to add the double H questions that I'm using in the question. Okay? 
Another example, please. Can you tell me another question in simple present? What time is it? Very good. What time is it? What did he ask everybody? He asked me what time um, was it? <laughs> was it? Hmm? Where's where where's um, it? Maybe just was. What, what time, time was? What hmm? time was? Mm -hmm. Where? Where? Remember the structure. Do I need a subject? Hmm. It was. He asked ah, me what time it was. What time it was? It it was. was. Mm. was. Very good. Remember, in this case, the verb goes at the end because mm. it's like an affirmative <laughs> sentence. Now, in these questions, we are using the verb to be very good. But also remember, guys, that we can use an auxiliary. Can you tell me a question in simple presence? Using the auxiliary do or does, please. What do you do? Okay. What do you do? Now, remember, guys, that when we are reporting, we can use different verbs, not only the verb ask. So, what is the other verbs that we can use? Inquire. She yes. inquired. What else? What want to me. know? Ah, so she wanted to know. Remember, always in mm. past. Okay, so she wanted to know what what what, what, what I, I what I do if, what I what I do ah, what I did what I did yes I. Did. Did, did remember? Do I need the auxiliary no. if I'm reporting it? It's not a question. It is not a question exactly. I don't need the auxiliary. I just need the subject, <laughs> and I need the verb in past. Okay. What do you do? Ah, she wanted to know what I, I did. did. That's all. Got it. Yes. Is it clear, everybody, how we are going to report questions, information questions in simple present? Yes, it's yes? clear. I just need to do 100 exercise. <laughs> 100? <laughs> yes. We can do it. <laughs> Why not? Okay, let's try. Let's, I know, guys, that this is a very difficult topic. And that's why we are going to continue practicing. Suddenly, I can take some minutes in the class and I will start reviewing and I will ask you just to see that you don't remember it, uh, that you don't forget it. I'm sorry. Now, did you copy? Yes. If you are yes. copying it, do it. Yes. Finish? Yes. Yes, I'm ready. Amanda? Yes, I'm okay. ready. Okay, perfect. Okay, because your classmates said that we need to have more exercises. Yes, why not? <laughs> okay, we have started to do these sentences in the previous class, but there are more. Um, let's see, let's see. Oops, this is not the one. This is the one. <laughs> okay, when is your birthday? Hmm. Report the speech, please. She wanted to know. Uh huh. When was my birthday? Mm. When, my when birthday. was my when, birthday? When, when my birthday, birthday was. was. Uh -huh. When my birthday was. <laughs> yes. So remember, switch. You need the subject and then the verb. Okay, so when my birthday was okay. that's the one exactly. So, uh huh. What happens if the verb was in the case a uh, switch in the uh, where it was a uh, for example, like the sentence says, she wanted to know when was my birthday was when was my birthday. Ah, uh, okay. He is he is asking again. 
is correct if I if I'm asking again? So okay, let me see if I get the question. Do you mean that what happens if instead of is we say was? That's your question. The the verb was is okay, but not in the end. Ah, if not, you mean the position? What happens right. if instead of putting at the end we put it here? Yes, it, it, yes, uh, that's correct, teacher. Uh, uh, I want to it know if like it is correct thinking. if I want to say a, a, a question again. Basically, guys, in this case, it's like if you were repeating the question, when was my birthday? She wanted to know when was my birthday. So in this case, it's like if you are asking the question you are not reporting in this case you are you are doing an answer and you are doing may doing an emphasis about the last question no mm, not necessarily an emphasis what happens in this case guys is how can i explain this um you are repeating the question literally, basically. And remember that okay. that is not the purpose for the reported speech. So imagine that I say uh, in Spanish, um, ¿Cuándo es tu cumpleaños? When we it's use like, a reported speech, uh -huh. it's like when the, the, the English is speakers trying to talk with Spanish, but they have the, the tenses uh, confusions. Exactly, that is exactly the same. If you pay attention to people that are learning Spanish and they switch the positions and they say, um, bonito carro, right? O cuando tu cumpliendo. <laughs> exactly. So, that they will understand. For example, if you say, ah, oh, she wanted to know when was my birthday, they will understand. Yes, this is the same when they are speaking in Spanish. <laughs> we understand, but grammatically, is that correct? Grammatically no. talking? Not really, right? So again, they will understand. Yes. But remember that the purpose in this class is to try to learn the language the best way as possible, okay? That's why we need to continue following the correct structure. Got it? Yes? Yes, I got it. Got it, teacher, thank you. You're very welcome. Now, I will be asking individually, okay? Oh, well, we only have two more questions. Let me see, let me ask. Tun, 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 tun. Andrea, hello, Andrea. Hello. Andrea, how many children do you have? What is the report of the speech? Okay, so she asked me how many children do I have? Mm, do I have like this? Just Sorry, no. I Many have. children I have. Okay. I have. Like this? Mm, Give me one too fast. Okay. Hey, no, hold have. on. Let ha. her think. Let her relax. Okay. Yes. Ha. Ha. yes, Andrea. That is the one. She asked me how many children I <laughs> had. If you see, guys, um, this is exactly the same when we report it, there's no question. It's exactly the same. The only difference is that we are not using the word if. We are replacing the word if for the double H word. I feel that the double H word is giving you more difficulties <laughs> than the just no questions. Do you feel that the double H questions are more difficult, guys, than the just no questions? <laughs> Yes. Imagine, just let me give you the example. The yes no question will be, do you have children? What will be the reported speech? 
She asked me. She asked me. Uh -huh. She asked me if uh -huh. I had children. I had children. I had children. If I had children, right? So basically, the order is similar. She asked me. She asked me. Instead of if, I'm using how many. And then in this case, I had children. And yeah. if I, in this case, children I had because we are using how many. Okay. But I need the subject. Yes, I have the subject. Yeah. I need the verb in past. Yes, I have the verb in past. So it's yeah. basically the same. That's me. Okay. That's me. That's me. Now, Andrea, pick one of your classmates, please. Where? Um, Osman Enrique. All right, Osman, number 10. Where do you work? Okay. She asked she asked me uh, I work I work <laughs> where <laughs> I don't know. Okay, again, no worries. She asked, she asked me, she asked me. Uh -huh. uh, where I work. I work. Did. I'm sorry. Work. Work. Ah, work. That's, work. that's what I want work. to listen. Exaggerate the pronunciation. So she asked me where I work. work. That's it. Work. It's a very good job. <laughs> so I know a little bit confusing everybody but again it's not impossible we can do it any questions so far no and your practice can i tell this easier with the w h questions on the photo speech but we are not custom accustomed to the, the change but yeah. it's easier than the yes and no question Correct. Because you, you don't need a uh, shift back the, the, the tenses. Basically. So in this case, guys, it's with the practice. I know that something that is very difficult is because we need to think in a lot of grammar tenses. We have simple present. Let's change it in simple past. I know that that's difficult. But come on, we can do it. Now, any questions so far, everybody, about how can we use reported speech in simple present? Yes? No? Is it clear? All right. So if you don't have questions, I assume that the topic is clear. Later, we are going to have more practice. So don't yes. forget it, please. It's clear, but we need to practice. <laughs> and we will. Don't worry. But before the other practice, we need guys to check. Now, what can we do if the question is in simple past? The rule is exactly the same. If I have a question in simple past, in which grammar tense am I going to report it? Do you remember? In a past perfect because we need to shift back. The Correct. Tense. Exactly. So the rule is the same. Can you tell me a question in simple past, everybody? Double H question, please. Um. Um, did you like movies? <laughs> mm, did you like movies? Yeah, yeah. Okay, look at this one. Did you like Why movies? Why did you like movies? Ah, if you say only, did you like movies? This is a yes, no questions. But we need double H questions. So we just need to add a double H word. For example, why? Mm -hmm. Why did you like movies? Okay. Now let's use reported speech. She asked me. Mm -hmm. Now we need to switch. I need to transform this sentence in simple past in the past perfect. She asked me, what do I need now? 
Why? Why? Yes. Now, I, like an affirmative sentence. I need the I, subject. What is the I, subject? I, I. Now, let's shift in the past perfect. What is the structure of the past perfect? I like to. Mm. Auxiliary. I have liked. Had. Had. There. Like past participle. I had like. Uh huh. Complement. Movies. Movies. That is the one. Okay. So she asked me why I had liked movies. Remember, past perfect structure auxiliary had verb in past participle. Teacher, mm -hmm. uh, the question is simple past, the reported speech in present perfect. Past perfect. Past perfect. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you tell me another question, guys? Information question in simple fast. Where did you go yesterday? Okay, where did you go yesterday? Okay, everybody, what did she ask? She asked me where I... Where I had gone yesterday. Very gone. good. Where I had... Gone. Exactly. Where I had gone yesterday. Look at the structure. Auxiliary. Verb in past participle. Okay. So is the same rule as we were practicing before. If it is in simple past, we change it into past perfect. Got it? Clear? A little bit? So far. So far so good? So far, because sometimes the words don't come easy, but it's okay. <laughs> I know, I know. But the secret, guys, is to keep in mind the structure. Okay? Now, let's see what happens if I have a question in future with will. Uh-huh. I'm going to use would. For example, um, let's see, double H question in future. What will you do? Tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow. So what did she ask? Mm -hmm. What do I need now? What? Double H word. What is the subject? Uh, what I. Uh huh. Now, I will, what I, I would do. Do tomorrow. do tomorrow. All right. So, look, with future, we don't have like a lot of problem, right? Because we just need to say would. Can you tell me another question, please, in future using double H word? Uh, you can use. Will you different... go to the cinema? Okay. Will you go to the cinema? That is a just no question. Let's add no. a double H word. Where, where will you go? Okay. When. Or when sounds good, when when will you go to the cinema? So, what did she ask? She asked me where I will go mm -hmm. to the cinema. When I would go to the cinema. That's it. So, keep in mind the structure. She asked me then I need the double H word. Then I need the subject. I need would. And then the complement is exactly as it is. All right? Everyone clear a little bit? Ready for the practice? Ready. More exercises? 
All right. Do you want more exercises? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes of course. Okay. Did you copy the examples? No, just a second. Not yet. Okay, copy, please. Don't worry. I can give you the time. I recommend you guys to copy the example. So that is going to help you to remember the information. Remember that the box, the grammar box is in your manual in the page 23. So if you want to review the information, you can find it in your manuals too. Copy the sentences, please. Teacher, in, yeah. the, in the exercise, uh, in the previous exercise, we were talking about the present, the simple present mm -hmm. to simple past, right? Correct. Okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me know when you finish, everyone. Yes. Okay. And you guys, did you finish? Copy, please. Copy. That's going to help you. Okay, you're done, everybody? Yes? Can I move to the next slide? Yes? For me, the suggestion. Yes? Okay. Um, look at this one. We are going to have like a summary, okay? And this is very important, so please everybody pay a lot of attention, okay? We are going to have a box and we are going to have a summary. You are going to help me to create this. Listen, if I have a sentence or a question in simple present, in which grammar tense am I going to report it? In simple, simple past. past. Correct, in simple past, okay. But what happens if I have a sentence or a question in simple past? Simple present? Mm, simple no, perfect. In... Simple perfect. Simple <laughs> past perfect. Past, past perfect. perfect. Past, past perfect. Perfect. Okay. Now, what happens if I have future, but future with will? Will. I have to use? Would. Future would. would. Okay. Look, this box is the one that you have to memorize. I have a sentence in simple present. I'm going to report it in simple past. If I have a sentence in simple past, okay, I'm going to report it in the past. Perfect. I have a sentence in future, okay, I need to report it with Ooh. would. If Ooh. you memorize this rule, it's going to be easier. Got it? Got it. Yes? yes. That's perfect it. because it's like a uh, resume. It is, exactly. This is like in few words, <laughs> right? Yes. yes. Are you ready for a practice? Yeah. <laughs> and some of you are it's like, no, copy. teacher. <laughs> copy. Okay, copy, don't worry. Copy, guys. My recommendation is that you have to memorize this rule. Simple present, let's report it simple past. In simple past, okay, let's report it in the past perfect. Future with will, let's report it with would. This applies to uh, information question, right? Actually, this applies for everything. A affirmative okay. or negative sentences, 
yes, no questions or for affirmative sentences. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, these rules, guys, is for everything. It doesn't matter if the sentence is affirmative or negative. It doesn't matter if it is yes, no question or information question. It's the same rule. Okay, did you finish? Did you copy it? Yes. Yes? Okay. No. Oh, okay, copy, don't worry. Before going to the exercises, I'm going to check attendance again. So please, guys, remember when you listen to your names, always say present. Um, I'm going to stop sharing for just a second, but I'm going to start sharing it again, don't worry. Okay, when you listen to your names, please say present, everybody. Um, let's see. Amanda Leonela Zamora. Present. Okay. Uh, um, oh. Ana Lorena Lovato. Boris Alexander Cortez. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos okay. Ernesto Hernández. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Mauricio Menjiva. Present. Thank you. Edwin Antonio Quintero. Present. Thank you. Elias Nestalí Martínez. Present teacher. Okay. Eulice Torres Torres. Irma Evelyn Rodríguez. Oh, sorry about Evelyn. I think she will uh, be disconnecting uh, the 930 nearly uh, because okay. she has some medicine or and, uh, medical instruction. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Thanks Maybe for telling talk to you about. Well, she didn't, but thanks for telling. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I recommend she talk to you maybe tomorrow okay pretty good okay. thanks okay um okay jose salvador bernal present teacher thank you josman atilio serrano josman okay kevin alexander perez present, present. kevin alfredo lucero present Okay, Maria Jose Siguenza. Nelson Alberto Perazo. Present. Okay, Oscar Alexis Lara. Present. Thank you. Osman Enrique Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Pamela Carolina Molina. Rafael Alexander Serna. Present teacher. Thank you. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez. Present. Thank you. Cifrido Ernesto Gómez. Present teacher. Thank you. Wilber Alberto Pérez. Present teacher. Thank you. And Andrea Yamilet Mendoza. Present. Excellent. Very good. Okay, we don't have a lot of time, but let's have a quick practice. I have here different questions. And in these questions, we are going to find questions in simple present, in past, in future. So let's combine, okay, the reported speech. But I will be giving you individually, okay? So let me write some names. The first one will be for Wilbur. The next one, I'm going to give it to Rafael. Um, mm -mm. the next one it's going to be for Oscar and, ta -ta 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 -ta, and I will give the next one to Elias okay everybody pay attention to your classmates guys whenever you're ready you can tell me the report of the speech okay uh, Walter asked me Walter asked me uh, why 
why uh, why I why I looking at um we have the verb to be yeah yeah why why I was, uh -huh. why I was why I was uh, looking at me. Oh, look looking? at me. Looking at me. At me? Mm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Him. Him. In this case, Him. actually, Him. only this detail. If I'm talking about Walter, so I have to say looking at? Him. Him. That's the one. But the structure is perfect. Thank you, Wilbur. Look at this, everyone. <clears throat> okay. If I have a verb in ing, that verb is not going to change. The only ones that is going to change in this case is the verb to be. So Walter asked me why I was looking at him. Very good job. Okay, who's next? Who's ready? Rafael, Oscar, or Elias? Who's ready? Only one, please. So in order. <laughs> I can't. Oh, Oscar, go ahead. I know that you're ready. Uh huh. I'm ready. Go ahead. The Judy, what's time? No, what time would you wake up? Judy asked me. Uh huh. Uh, what time? Would no. What time? I would. Wake up. I would wake up. What do you think, guys? Is that correct? Judy asked me what time I would wake up. Yes? It is. Totally <laughs> correct. Very Thank good, you. Oscar. Excellent. Uh -huh. Next one, Rafael, Elias, are you ready? Me? Okay, Caitlin, Caitlin asked me where we were yesterday okay where we where um, yesterday okay mm. again so caitlin asked me where where um oh, <laughs> i'm lost teacher sorry <laughs> no worries don't worry let's remember the box everyone if I have a question in simple past, okay, let's remember the box. Simple past, I have to report <laughs> it in past perfect. So what kind of questions do I have here? Clean, simple past. past. Yeah. So I need the reported speech in the past perfect. Okay, um, someone please help Elias. Caitlin asked me. Caitlin asked me where. Uh huh. I, Carlos. I I had. Where I had. Uh, verb in past participle. Was. Mm, was. No. No. Been. Oh. Ah. I have been yesterday. Mm, I have. Yes. Mm. So. Caitlin asked me where I had been yesterday. Look, past perfect, auxiliary, and the verb in past participle. Very good job. Okay, the Thanks. next one. Very good. Rafael, are you ready? Um, I'm not sure, but... Try. Uh, Elizabeth asked me uh, what my sister went to do. Okay, what my sister uh, went to do? Went to do. Mm, do I have the verb go? Instead um, of when, going. I have the verb to be. What is the past what? form of the verb to be? What? Was. 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 Okay, Was remember, if I have a verb in ing, do I need changes? No. 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 So, what my was sister going to do? Exactly. Was going to do. Was going to do. Very good job. That's simple. 
Okay? Remember, guys, verbs in ing, they don't change. You just need to change the verb to be. Got it? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes. I think I made a little mistake. Why? Because uh, we was talking about Judy in my question. Judy is is a name of a woman or a man? Mm, it's a girl. A girl. Yeah. So the, the correct answer would be, Judy asked me what time I will wake her up. Oh, yes, because I haven't seen this word. That's totally true. Yes, and you I, can I, say, I, wake I, her up. I'm sorry, I didn't see the word me. <laughs> I, but, I skip it. No, but that's a good observation, Oscar. Exactly. So we can say, Judy asked me what time I would wake her up. Very good job. Okay, is it clear? Everybody, at least a little bit. Yes? 50-50. 50-50 or at least more, come on, 50%. How much do you feel that you understand the topic? 50%, 60? 80%. 80%. 80%. Okay, that's that's good. I'm sorry? 80%. 80%. I mean, that, that makes me happy because that's a lot. Now, if you say 10%, teacher, that, that scares me, okay? But don't worry. We are going to continue practicing, okay? Unfortunately, we don't have more time. So we are going to continue tomorrow. Before leaving, everybody, remember, as always, we have a winner. But I'm not sure... Listen, important, remember that these meetings are tiring, I know, but it is necessary to have it. Um, I have some people that they never been in the meetings because they are never connected when is their turn, okay? So be careful with that. Oh my gosh, the lights went. Uh, can you listen to me, everyone? Oh, I'm sorry. Welcome back, teacher. The lights went no out. Thanks for staying, <laughs> but I see that almost everybody's gone. Yeah, um, you can go to sleep, everyone. Sorry, the lights went out, but we are already finished. I'm not going to ask anyone to stay today. Okay. The internet no. now is <laughs> it's no tired. Worries. The internet is tired too. Okay. Have a wonderful night, everybody. Rest and see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good night. Good night.